Hi, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and thank you for watching this live stream. Just going to get my DT770 Pro headphones and uh, stick them on. Hopefully the audio is coming to you uh, nice and loud and clear this morning. That's my intention. <laughs> Just checking that we're streaming everywhere. I'm going to pop this up on Periscope as well. Streaming via Wirecast, so why not? Let's do that now. Uh, because it is uh, currently streaming out on twitch.tv slash musicradiocreative, Facebook Live, and YouTube as well. Let's get this out on Periscope too. There we go. And uh, Periscope is a fan of emojis, so uh, I'm going to put a bag with a dollar sign on. I don't know why, uh, but I'm just going to do it and uh, tweet it out and go live. Okay, live on Periscope as well. Hello to you on Periscope. Uh, if you are watching via Periscope. Uh, and uh, yeah, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch.tv. That's my new platform I'm trying out. And now I'm just going to load up. I'm going to get all of your comments so I can see. Uh, Herbert Williams is there on YouTube Live. I'm just going to pop out that chat so I can see it while I... What I'm going to do in this video as I'm going to take you through my um, morning as it is here in the UK uh, at Music Radio Creative doing a bit of audio production. So I spend maybe an hour or two uh, just producing inside Adobe Audition. Uh, I might skip over to Logic Pro as well if I need to do a bit of musical stuff. Uh, so stick with me. There's, uh, there's lots coming up. There's lots of orders to do. So I'm really excited about getting stuck in. Uh, let's, right, let's pop out that chat for YouTube so I can see that nice and big because I love my YouTube subscribers. want to make sure that I'm uh, paying attention to those comments. And then over on Facebook Live, I'll pop out the comment. Um, still haven't really figured out quite how to do the um, the Twitch commenting. But uh, maybe if you're over there, you can you can send me a message over there or you can, um, you can just let me know how it all works because I'd love to be able to comment in real time on Twitch. Uh, so let's have a look and make sure we're on Facebook. And we are live on Facebook there. Uh, and we've got John there in the chat right now. So good to see you, John. Uh, good morning to you here from the UK. Uh, so if you've Facebook just joined there, me. Uh, and we've got John there in the chat right now. So good to see you, that. John. Uh, good morning to you. For some reason, I, I like to uh, feed back my video so I can... Facebook. If I, if I scroll up on Facebook, it seems to play the audio. So the audio interrupts me. It sounds like I'm talking to myself. But anyway, I think that works. So now I can see the Facebook Live comments. Uh, oh, it's Hubert. Hubert on uh, on YouTube over there. Uh, so good to have you with me. If you've just joined in, if you've just uh, tuned in to watch, I am going to show you over there, Adobe Audition. I'm going to show you uh, my audio production workflow. Uh, this is the Music Radio Creative website behind me over there. So I'm just going to close that down, minimize that, and get into Audition, and maybe make myself a little bit smaller as well. So let's do that right now. And there we go. Oh, that's it. Nice. OK, so I'm in the corner, and I can get stuck in. First of all, I'm going to play a, a quick jingle here to make sure the audio is working. Just let me know in the chat if you can hear this jingle loud and clear, please. <laughs> Oh, that sounded good to me. Hopefully that sounds good to you. Hopefully you can hear everything. Uh, sounds great, says Richard Daly over on Periscope. Hey, hello to my Periscope viewers. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to build the audience over on Periscope because uh, when I first started using Periscope, it was literally when the app first came out and I was getting like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views. And that was just walking around the Isle of Wight doing uh, random videos. Uh, but now I, I figured I'd put some of my audio production stuff out there. And I can see uh, six of you watching right now on Periscope. So thanks for taking the time. Uh, and uh, do give some hearts and uh, and just uh, throw some comments in there because I can see what you're doing over on Periscope. But um Hello to you, Lewis, uh, on Facebook Live. Uh, good to, to see that uh, Hubert has uh, also heard the jingle. We've got uh, 
Hey, Mike, was hoping if you could show some settings in Adobe Audition. That's uh, the Remi, I think, over on uh, YouTube. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm intending to do right now as I go through and give you a, a typical morning in my audio production workflow. Uh, so I'm going to get stuck into my first order. Let's close that jingle down. And the first order actually really, really excites me. Every order that I work on for Music Radio Creative excites me. Here we go. I'm just, uh, I need to remember to point over there. I'm kind of reversed. Uh, I'm just starting a new session up there uh, in the multi-track of Adobe Audition. Uh, so this order in particular is for a long-standing customer. <laughs> I'd love to stay, but it's 2 a.m., uh, says Search K9. Wow, amazing. Uh, so uh, good night to you. Hope you sleep well. Uh, I'm going to go into this order here, and this is for yeah, a long-standing customer of Music Radio Creative. Absolutely fantastic person as well. Uh, Craig Twitty, DJ Craig Twitty. Very excited to work on this order. So uh, let's search now on the Mac for, though hopefully, the order is there, and yeah, I can see sung jingles. It is a, a sung order that we're working on, and um, here are all the acapellas. So I'm just going to drop them straight into Adobe Audition over there, and let's take a listen to them. I'm going to put them on a, a track. So I have a load of tracks here in Adobe Audition, as you can see, uh, all the way down the side. They're all different colors as well, and they generally tend to have a lot of different presets on. Uh, hi to Rami on YouTube, by the way. Hi, Rami. Um, so each each track has a different kind of preset that I use regularly. I do tweak them and change them and do all kinds of different things. But this just keeps my workflow really clean and neat and tidy. If I need an effect, I can use it. But I'm always messing about and trying to find new things. So the brief for this order is uh, I've got some acapellas here. So let's take a listen to all of those acapellas and see how they sound. DJ Craig Twitter. That's nice. Very, very American style singing. That's our uh, musical singer, Kim. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Master Mix, Dance Party. And this the one? Sounds of the New York Underground. Wow, I'm going to have fun with this. So, my brief is to create five mixes with sound and vocal effects. Uh, so, I think I can have a a heck of a lot of fun with this. For some reason there's a marker in there. I'm just going to delete that from my, my session. And I save it. We work in the cloud. So as soon as I save my session, boom, it's up in the cloud. And um, any other audio producer at Music Radio Creative can literally go in and open up my Adobe Audition session file and work on it. But not at the same time as me, because if that happens, it conflicts and then they save and they overwrite my changes. And oh. So I am really, really, really hoping that Adobe will introduce a creative cloud collaboration for Adobe Audition. Please, 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 please. I know it's already uh, happening with uh, Premiere Pro, but I, oh, oh, it would make my life so easy uh, if, if we could do in real time a uh, collaboration in Adobe Audition. So see it in the video apps uh, with the Adobe Creative Cloud. So who knows? Maybe audio will be next. Right. Let's get stuck in then. So now that's all in the cloud saved up. So this music track, if I go into my effects rack, uh, which is over here, you can see there are absolutely no effects. So that's the acapella clean with no processing. DJ Craig Twitter. And then I pop it up here into voice process. This is my beefy voiceover processing. DJ Craig Twitter. A bit louder, probably a little bit aggressive for a sung acapella, especially as that already has a little bit of processing uh, and bits on it already. So we'll, we'll have a play with that. But first of all, uh, five versions of each acapella. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one way out of the way. Those two can wait till later. And I'm going to take this. DJ Craig Twitter. Hi, Anna. Anna, Anna Teo, I think that is, on, uh, on Periscope. It's your first day on Periscope as well watching me. I'm absolutely honored. If you want to leave a comment, by the way, Feel free to on Facebook Live, on, on YouTube, on Periscope. Uh, I am interacting uh, with the comments as they come in. Right, DJ Craig Twitty. So I'm going to make five different versions of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that into five versions. What I'm doing is right-clicking and dragging on the very top bar this acapella so I can multiply it by five and just dropping it here in the multi-track. Then what I'll need is to go into my media browser and I'm going to go to uh, some lovely effects and I'll probably go for some impacts. These, these impacts from one of our production libraries just have a great sort of introduction. Hi from Weymouth. Hi to you, Peter. Thanks for watching on Facebook Live. So what I have here, down here, you can see this is autoplay with this highlighted. When I click an impact, it will immediately start playing. Listen. That's a bit aggressive. I want more of a... That's what I want. That's exactly what I want. That's nice. 
and it's got quite a long tail as well. So let's, uh, let's pop this acapella up to the top and just tweak the processing. So I'm going to mute that effects rack. DJ Craig Twitter. And I'm just going to ease off the processing there because it is rather harsh. First of all, scientific filter is knocking off anything below 100 hertz. Uh, hello from Nelson, New Zealand. Hi, Michael. Hey, great to have you watching on, on YouTube today. That's, that's fantastic. What time is it in New Zealand now? It's uh, 19 past 10 here in the UK uh, in the morning. Let's knock off the, uh, the, the low pass filter. DJ Craig Twitter. And with it on. DJ Craig Twitter. Not much of a different. Uh, awesome insights. Uh, oh, signed up to be able to ask you why audition instead of Pro Tools. Hey, that's interesting. Anna, thanks. You signed up to Periscope especially to ask me that question. Thank you. I feel honored. Uh, audition instead of Pro Tools. You know, a Avid have, uh, you know, done great things with Pro Tools. It's used by a lot of interest industry experts. I have used Audition all of my life since Cool Edit Pro from Centrillium, and I just fell in love with the, the app. You know how you, you fall in love with something, but I think since Adobe took it over, they've just taken it from strength to strength, so it's only getting better. And I was forced, and I will say forced, uh, to use Pro Tools at a radio station uh, I, I worked out many moons ago now, and I just didn't like it. I, just, I, I don't know, it's, it's good. It sounds great. It can do loads of cool stuff. But I, I just, all the shortcuts, I, I think I have Adobe embedded in my brain now. So it's very hard for me to switch. I'm not saying it's a bad piece of software. It's an excellent piece of software, especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, but for me, I've just grown up with Audition. And also, I think you'll find most most radio stations, most places you go in the world, do have Adobe Audition installed. It's, it's very commonly used in the radio industry, Podcasters use Adobe Audition. Well, a lot of podcasters use Audacity for free, but serious podcasters who have a bit of cash to spend on their podcasting are into Adobe Audition as well. So it's, it's pretty much the standard for audio, dare I say it. Um, so Michael says he just finished studying radio broadcasting. Loving the videos. Hey, thank you, Michael. Really appreciate that. Uh, hello, Mike. Send your multi tech piece set, says DZI. <laughs> and uh, we got a, another one here. Hi, Mike. I love your works. Grateful to have contact. It's lovely to have you watching on, on Facebook Live there. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Kihuku, I think that is. I hope I got that right. So, yeah, I'm interacting with the comments right now, but let's get back into audio. And if you do have any questions, just post them up there. I'd really be happy to answer them while I show you some of my workflow, because that's what it's all about. It's all about, you know, helping if, if I can. Um, and do hit the subscribe button on, on YouTube as well, youtube.com slash music radio creative, if you haven't done so already. Right. So uh, we are going to take a look at the dynamics processing next over here. DJ! DJ! I think the speech volume leveler is going to be the guilty party. DJ Craig Twitter. Yeah. DJ Craig Twitter. You hear the difference with that on? It's a bit aggressive for a sung vocal. So let's pop that up a bit. DJ Craig Twitter. Okay. Um, let's take this down a bit. DJ Craig Twitter. And uh, maybe this one. DJ Craig. DJ Craig. DJ Craig. Now. Actually, the speech volume leveler, what we might want to do is pop this into a, a new file for a second. Um, uh, let's do that and that. And I'm just going to use the preview on Adobe Audition. It's up in the top right, only in the waveform view, though. And uh, you can see what an effect is doing or what you doing, what you're doing what you're doing using that effect, how it's affecting uh, the waveform. So speech volume leveler there. Now you can see how things are changing. If I just turn this right up to 80, is that going to change things? You see, it's not really changing much, and that's probably because I've already got the speech quite loud. If I turn that down, that's actually turning the, the volume, the amplitude down. If I turn it right up, it's really boosting it up and also affecting the dynamics as well. Take the leveling amount down, not much there, and play with that. So really, the target volume level is probably something I want to mess about with in the multi-track. So let's do that. And let's just take that down a little bit. Let's see how we sound now. DJ Craig. And up. DJ. Yeah. DJ. DJ. DJ Craig Twitter. OK. 
Okay, I'm still going to go on the aggressive side of things, but minus 17 instead of minus 12. That will give me the sound I am looking for. <laughs> Ryan says, good to see you still alive. Yes, I'm back. Uh, did have a bit of a, a break the early part of this year, but definitely you can expect more stuff from me on youtube.com slash music radio creative, over on Facebook Live at facebook.com slash music radio creative. Do a bit on Periscope and twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Right. Let's get into uh, really editing this to sound awesome now for uh, DJ Craig Twitty. DJ. Okay, we need a bit more of an establishment of the um, the impact there before the vocals come in. So, DJ. a bit too much there. DJ Craig Twitty. DJ Craig Twitty. Okay, and I'm going to just turn the volume down a bit on the impact. DJ Craig Twitter. Now I'm going to look for some other bits and bobs. So let's hop back into the imaging here. Uh, let's go into this package here and we'll go, we'll look at some shells. Not really what I'm looking for. Aha, that's what I'm looking for. So that's going to be good at the end, I think. Okay, the sound effect is far too loud in the mix at the moment, so I'm going to turn that down. Have a listen. Hey, and we don't want the drone to go on and on and on, so let's get rid of the tail end of that. DJ Craig Twitter. Perfect. Now we're sending goes. DJ Craig Twitter. Okay, cool. That could probably go down a bit further, and the same with the impact there. DJ Craig Twitter. Cool. I'm I'm liking where that is going right now. Let's just try putting some uh, EQ on the last bit. That sounds good. I like that. And what I want to do as well um, now, house music. Let's have a look at this, actually, but I'm pretty sure as it's a house music station, uh, we want to be looking at the uh, house music BPM. Let's have a look. So, yeah, as I thought, between 120 and 130, and, um, yeah, the 128 BPM. I think 128 BPM is kind of standard for house music, so I'm going to go to a BPM calculator. Yeah, and let's have a look at this site. This is really cool because what you can do is go to 128 BPM and you can find uh, the, the milliseconds of beats uh, without having to, you know, get a calculator out or do it yourself. So 469234, those numbers are going to be very important because I'm going to go in here, add in a little echo to the end of this uh, sung a cappella. And um, what do we have? 469, what was the other one? 234. Two, three, four. Okay. And this is going to echo uh, the Craig Twitty part of the a cappella at exactly 128 BPM. That's it. So 469 milliseconds, 234 milliseconds. That will give us an echo of 128 BPM. Craig Twitty! Okay, that's a bit of an aggressive echo, so I'm going to just tone that down a little bit. Uh, keep the bass coming in. We, we're kind of eliminating the ba bass. Uh, successive echo equalization is basically you're dropping out the bass there as you can see and increasing the treble. And I might actually take off the treble as we continue with the echo and leave the bass. Okay. Now, you know, I'm not sure how happy I am with that. So instead, what I'm going to do here is 469 times 2, uh, 938. I'm going to do it by one beat and two beat instead of a beat and half a beat. Or what I might actually do is go for the 470 effect. So just a little bit of and switch on the echo bounce. So it bounces from left to right. I'm kind of liking that now. Hi to Rex watching on YouTube. Nice to have you here. 
All right, we'll go with that for the first one. Uh, what I can do now is make sure that this fades out. DJ Craig Twitter. Cool. And that's about completely gone by there. The next one, we're going to uh, grab a few effects. Let's have a listen. That's cool. I can do something with that. Let's pop that in. So that's got a nice kind of stuttery start to it. Okay, let's have a look at Facebook. For some reason, whenever I look at Facebook, it starts playing my audio back, so I apologize for that. Start to it. Yeah, there you go. You heard a little bit of me as, as I go into my Facebook window, but I am watching the comments, so if you do want to ask a question, feel free to fire away. So with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to stutter our singer, Kim, with the stutter of this jingle. So let's do that. This could be quite intensive, but it's a, a essentially it's a copy-paste job. And with these things, it is all trial and improvement. You see, that's probably a bit too big. Let's try that again. Um, and you never tend to get things right on the first go unless you're extremely lucky. So an audio producer is always testing and improving. What I'm doing here is I'm I'm copying a little bit of Kim's intro, so the d d d d d from DJ, and. Uh, I'm I'm kind of copying that onto the on the to the stutter. Can you see there of the sound effect? Uh, Rex is asking what I'm doing. I'm just showing you behind the scenes. I'm producing orders uh, this morning here in the UK for uh, Music Radio Creative, and I wanted to give you a bit of a behind the scenes glance as to how I do it and how I work on these things. And uh, they do take time, so thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably stay on for about an hour or maybe two depending on how things go. Let's listen to how that sounds so far. So that's a stuttered uh, intro. Okay, we've got a cool kind of intro happening there. I'm going to make this kind of a, a glitchy, robotic uh, stutter intro uh, for Craig on this one, and we'll see how we go. So let's uh, drop this in here and get that stuttering there. How does that look? Does that look good? Let's try it. Anna, how do you get only the sound for a stutter? Just lots of selection and playback. Um, yeah, essentially that's that's what it is, Anna. It's um, it's a case of testing. I mean, you know, you you can look at things. So, like, let's go right into this waveform here. This is, or actually, even better, rather than doing it on the multi-track. If I show you in the waveform view, um, it's a nice purple color. You can already see in that, let me switch off the preview mode. You can already see here, look, this is where you'd pay, place the stutter. You see all these these parts of the sound effect. You place the stuttered part of your voice on all of those peaks there. They look virtually exactly the same. And then it's just a case of, of just trying it and see if it, if it works. So listen to this in its entirety. It's one of those kind of radio imaging stutters, isn't it? But then when you combine, uh, let's mute this off for a second. When you combine that and mute that as well. So when you combine that with uh, that, you get this. So you're kind of stuttering uh, to complement the um, the sound effect that you're working with. And just the, mo it, it's all creativity on the fly. I mean, you can pre-plan things, but I kind of like to, I like to go through my sound effects library and I'm quite familiar with it. So I know where sound effects are that I like, uh, but often I'll just click a sound effect and I'll immediately know, yes, I can use that sound effect or no, it's not gonna work uh, for this particular piece. Uh, and when I hear something, immediately I start hearing in my head um, how I might construct audio around that sound effect. So when I played this sound effect for the first time, I immediately heard like that. So I heard a voice kind of going like that. And uh, now it's just a case of, of bringing that into reality. So let's listen to how this sounds so far. And let's do it one more time for uh, this little starting bit here. So again, placing it on where I can see the, the stuttering in the sound effect happening. See how that sounds. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Twitter. And I like the fact that I've actually placed the um, the stuttering on the uh, the track that I had the uh, the echo the 128 BPM echo. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because it kind of echoes into the background like a glitch robot effect. DJ Craig Twitter.
Twitter. You hear that little echo going into the background? This is the first one I produced. DJ Craig Twitter. And now I'm going to do something really fun with version number three. So get ready for this. What I'm going to need to do actually is create a brand new track. So right click, add stereo audio track just in there. I'm going to change it to orange because it's a heat wave right now in the UK and I want summary colors in my Adobe Audition multi-track. Uh, thank you, Yudistra, for sharing the, uh, the video on Facebook Live. Really appreciate that. Uh, so first of all, now I'm going to, well, what am I doing? Lock in time those waveforms and pop them onto track one, then unlock them so I can move them around. Oh, I don't want to change the clip color. I want to unlock. There we go, that's nice. So good to have you watching at youtube.com slash music radio creative, facebook.com slash music radio creative, or the new platform that I'm trying out, twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Particularly if you're on Twitch, do leave a comment because I'd be uh, excited to hear from you just building up that channel. It's literally just set it up yesterday. Uh, so need followers. If you're on Twitch, please give us a follower. Uh, give us a follower? Give us a follow. <laughs> And if you know someone else who could be a follower, do give us a follower. Absolutely. Right. Uh, this third version, I'm going to have some fun with this one. The reason I moved everything down to track one on here, and actually I'll need to re replicate my processing effects, otherwise I'm going to lose that. Uh, so let's check. That's about exactly the same. DJ Craig Twitter. DJ Craig Twitter. Okay. Yeah, that feels good to me. So what I'm going to do now is um, go ahead and take this one and I'm going to pop this down. When I pop that little arrow down over there, what I'm essentially doing is I'm revealing the, uh, the wonderful um, envelopes that I can use uh, to change things. So uh, volume. And for some reason, I have disabled those envelopes. They're not disabled on that track. So do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, because I've done that, and to make it easier for me, I am going to close that up and just do a little swap around. So let's do this. Lock in time. Pop you guys up there. Bring this one down here. So uh, a, a volume envelope essentially or an envelope alters an effect in Adobe Audition um, and it does it in real time in the multi-track which is really fantastic so let me show you if I was to take this volume envelope and I drag it down like that you'd hear the the the, the audio fade out essentially let's play it DJ. you see that's how a, a volume envelope works but really cool thing that I've got here in the multi-track is the ability to add something like the pitch shifter which I'm excited about it looks fine. And uh, then there's an envelope for that. Transpose ratio. So let me show you how it works. Let's make make this sung vocal sound really weird. Ready? DJ Cold <laughs> Okay. So you can see how you can have some real fun with uh, with that one. Uh, let me do that one more time, but make it go up like a chipmunk. DJ Cold do you see how it works? So it's essentially changing the ratio uh, uh, the, of the, um, the, the, the pitch shift. So uh, let's go back into pitch shifter. Let's try high precision and see if that makes things sound better. Because I always like to get the audio sounding as good as it can. DJ Not much of a difference there, really. It's doing it in real time. But let's leave high precision on because clearly that is um, somewhere we want to be. Right. Now we can do the, uh, the typical effect like this. So if I clip that right in and take the start. Right, that should be enough. And pop this in like this. Da, da, da. Okay, yep. And then we, we could do, we could do something. We could do something like this. Hang on. DJ Craig Twitter. DJ. And actually, I'm going to slice it there and move that up here. DJ. Yeah, there's a little click there. You hear where it's um, crossing over, so I'm going to do a crossfade to make that smooth. Let's listen to how that sounds. DJ Craig Twitter. DJ Craig Twitter. 
We can probably drag that out a little bit further. So I'm going to do that. And let's move this around here. And this over here. I need to move that over a little bit more. Okay, let's move that one. Perhaps that one out. Okay, leave that one in. Right, we need some effects to go with that. That'll be good for the end. I've got a feeling about that being good for the end. That could be good for the start. Let's see how that sounds. No, it establishes itself far too quickly. So what I'm going to do here is maybe loop the first part of this. Okay, you see how I'm looping that, that initial machine gun style effect. Okay, and then the bang comes in around there, which is... That's where we want the bang to come in, so probably uh, we'll be doing it like this. Okay, let's have a listen. <laughs> Bit too loud. Let's move on to this track. <laughs> let's move that down there. <laughs> One more turn. That sounds good. Do you know what? I'm going to use uh, some voice effects here and I'm going to put some reverb on. Reverb is always good for acapellas. DJ Craig Twitter. Much better. Do you hear the difference with the acapella? You get that little kind of room reverb sound. Craig Twitter. And with the uh, reverb off, Craig Twitter. it's much harsher. Craig Twitter. Let's see how that affects uh, my other two pieces here. So let's play this back. Let's start. DJ Craig Twitter. And this one. DJ Craig Twitter. And this one. DJ Craig Twitter. Okay. Uh, so we're nearly nearly there. That's the third one. Now let's take this over. I'm going to do some pitch shifting on the fourth one because I, I just feel like I'm in the groove now of, of pitch shifting the, uh, the a cappella. So... Let's go, instead of going from low to normal, let's go from high to normal and see how we can we can change that and make it sound good. So, what we'll need is the first part of uh, his surname, Twitter. Twitter. Yep, that's sounding good. Twitter. Twitter. Cool, Mike, thanks for your knowledge, says uh, Athika. Thank you very much on Facebook Live. Lovely to have you there. Twitter. Okay, that's cool. Uh, now I'm going to take this and change the ratio. Oh, we need to move that down though, don't we? Otherwise it's not going to work. Oh, I love that. It sounds like a rewinding record, so that, that'll be cool. That'll work for me. Maybe tighten that up. DJ Craig Twitter. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, now we're going to pull in another sound effect. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's go for uh, just the standard effects. Oh, that could be quite good on the rewind. Let's pop that in and see how it sounds. Yeah. Bit too loud. Let's pull it down a bit. Now too low in volume. Let's just pull it down and turn that down. Okay. Let's see how that works at the start. DJ Craig. DJ Craig. DJ Craig. Twitter. That's yeah. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, let's just go back and grab another one of those impacts. Ah, okay, that's got a second hit in it. That could be good. DJ. DJ. Need to take that down in volume. DJ Craig Twitter. DJ Craig Twitter. 
DJ Craig Twitter. Cool, I'm happy with that. So uh, last of the uh, of the five versions of the uh, the first line, and then we'll get on to the next two lines. Uh, Matteo is on YouTube watching live right now. It says, I want all these effects. How can I get them? Uh, you can get them at musicradiocreative.com. Let me show you actually, Matteo. Uh, if I go over to the website right now, this is our, our awesome website. And um, as you can see, it's just up there. And uh, if you go to, uh, let's start with radio, because uh, radio imaging, and then click the instant downloads area, which is just here, uh, you will see all kinds of stuff here, like instant downloads of jingles we've made. You can tag on your own liners and IDs, or you can you can customize some of them with, with your own name on, uh, that kind of stuff. So see this one here, New Year Countdown. I know it's a bit early for a New Year Countdown, right? But you can, you can click into the pen icon, and then you can add on your own uh, name or whatever you are, your DJ or whatever. Uh, but you're looking for sound effects. So you see here, sound effects and music. Click that, and boom, we've got um, what are known as work parts, volume one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these are all fantastic uh, radio imaging production elements that you can download straight away from our website. Um, show more. Ah, oh, there's more. Seven, CHR, so you can get different work parts depending on the type of radio station or, or podcast you're working on. Country music work parts. We've got rock work parts, motion graphics, uh, the full production library. That's like everything we have if you want to get that one. Uh, on-air sweepers, Halloween, dark production tools. Again, halloween themed stuff. So it's all there. It's all there, and um, that is the place to go if you're interested in those kind of sound effects. Right, let's get back to the... Um, final part now where are we uh, so yeah we've done four versions i'm just going to do the final version here now and make this sound good hi from turkey says kerem hey kerem nice to uh, nice to see you there and uh, mateo it's my pleasure to to answer your question if you do have any questions while you're watching this stream on facebook.com slash music radio creative youtube.com slash music radio creative or twitch.tv slash music radio creative Fire it into the chat, and uh, if I see it pop up, I'll do my best to answer your question. Okay, audio production, workflow, here we go. Um, now, this, this channel has a bit of chorus on it. Let me show you the chorus effect, and let's see how that affects the acapella. DJ Craig Twitter! Makes it sound absolutely awful, so we won't be using that. What about flanger? DJ Craig! Again, awful, so we'll, we'll stay away from those effects, and we'll go for something... Well, let's be led by the kind of effect that I find. So, what are we going to go for here? FX. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, got an idea here. So, uh, and sometimes it takes a, a while to just get that idea in your head. Uh, Kaylee's wondering, will I post this video on my YouTube channel? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Kaylee, from what I understand, um, I stream live on YouTube, uh, and then uh, YouTube then takes my video when I finish streaming, and it does a little bit of uh, re-encoding, and then it appears as a video you can watch back on my YouTube channel. So yes, is the answer. It's very early. Where are, I, where are you watching right now from, Kaylee? It's lovely to have you there, <laughs> nice and early in the morning. Uh, must be must be United States maybe or, or somewhere somewhere over the the Americas uh, where it w would technically I guess be early in the morning uh, but do let me know uh, in the chat Rex is asking as well so uh, final bit here let's just chop this here let's see what we can do DJ Craig Twitter. okay yeah that's that's cool that's what I'm going for here DJ Craig Twitter. I want that kind of almost like kind of shocked pause in the middle. DJ Craig Twitter. Too much. DJ Craig Twitter. Mm -hmm. Getting closer. DJ Craig Twitter. DJ Craig Twitter. Okay, maybe I need to pad that out a bit with uh, a bit more stuttering here. Uh, see, I'm, I'm just literally picking random parts here to paste in to make it really kind of weird. Oh, I just cut there. Didn't mean to cut. Got to watch what hotkeys I'm pushing. It's hard to uh, to see them with a microphone in the way, right? That's cool. And let's change the EQ on maybe the first bit. Let's see how that sounds. DJ Craig Twitter. 
yeah, that will work. And it's also got Echo on, which is fantastic. Right, okay, so the uh, the first uh, five elements of this order done. Uh, now I'm moving on to the next liner that sounds like this. Master Mix Dance Party. Master Mix Dance Party. And uh, I think what I'll do right now mm, is introduce into the mix here a little bit of Logic Pro, my best friend, uh, for creating uh, drum loops and, and stuff like that to, to stick into audio that I make. Uh, hello to Davil on YouTube. Good to have you there. Uh, so with uh, Logic Pro, uh, it does cost a bit of cash. Can't remember how much, but you can buy it from the App Store. Uh, and... Um, it can generate you all kinds of instruments on the fly, uh, which at present Adobe Audition can't do. So Logic Pro uh, is definitely, Logic Pro X or 10 is, is my favorite place to go for that. So um, he did say electronic, although I can change the genre. So we've got electronic, hip hop, R&B, songwriter, alternative. So ele electronic's what we're going for. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. And we can make it, a little bit more complex than that if we want. Um, as you can see over here, we can drag this little thing around. Uh, so loud, complex, soft, simple. Let's make it really complex and loud. Oh, cool, okay. I'm kind of liking where that's going. So um, now the best thing about this, and I think they introduced it in one of their latest updates on Logic Pro, um, this is a, a computer algorithm that's essentially uh, generating a, a drummer for you. And as you can see here, you can use different drummers. Uh, so we got like, you know, Ronnie over there or Julian. You can, so you can get different styles, but it's essentially a computer algorithm uh, generating uh, a drumming drum loop for you. So it's basically a totally royalty-free way of creating your own drum loops without literally having to wheel a drum kit into the studio and do it yourself. So I think it's really cool. And then I can export uh, one track as an audio file, and let's do that. Let's pop that into my downloads over here. Nice export. Boom, done. And then once that's finished, we can hop over to Adobe Audition. Uh, it's still exporting, so let's do it. Could take all morning, couldn't it? Feel free to post your questions in the comments if you have any, and I will uh, endeavor to answer them. It's nice to have you uh, in the chat. Right, okay. I think that's rendered up now. We've got a lovely big room AIF file that Apple like to create. Master Mix. Might need to time stretch this to fit with 128 BPM. Master Mix. Master Mix. Yeah. Master Mix. Dance Pop. Dance. Dance So a little bit of time stretching, I think. Dance. But that's not a problem. Master Mix. Dance Party. Okay, you see that? Just a 95% time stretch, and we're, we're on beat now with 128 BPM. But I'm going to go into Properties, and I'm going to go to Stretch, and instead of Real Time, I want it to be Rendered High Quality. So we don't have that kind of, you know when you time stretch, and it's kind of very poor quality time stretch, you get that kind of almost stutter, like, my art is to mix, and you're like, that's not a time stretch. <laughs> that's terrible. So Rendered High Quality, it'll take a little bit longer, and then we'll get a cleaner sound. Master Mix! Dance party. Okay, and we can do fun things with this. So it's nice to see Rex and Kaylee chatting away on the YouTube live uh, comment stream saying, I love doing this kind of stuff. Me too. That's what it's all about. It's all about community and, uh, and, and chatting and connecting with others uh, and figuring this stuff out. Master Mix. Okay, we've got a little uh, stutter there. Mix. Mix. Okay, so we'll try and stutter this along here. Pop it in there and there. See how that sounds. Too loud, so we're going to need to turn that down. And also, I've got a feeling we might need to use the uh, fade in and fade out little envelopes there that you can do quite easily in Audition. Still loud, super loud, wow. 
Mixed is still loud. That's super loud, that channel. Mix. Mix. Dance pop. That's sounding cool. Master Mix. Dance party. Master Mix. Dance party. Do we need a d -d 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 dance party for this? <laughs> Let's see how it sounds. It's the best thing about audio production. It's experimenting. I'm trying to get it on beat, as you can see there. I'm trying to get it on the beat. Uh, we could do this and then this halfway through the beat. Dance, dance party. We're getting rather loud there, so I'm going to definitely need to turn those down as well and do the same thing where I use a little fade in and fade out. It's so easy to do. Dance. And I can even, because I'm on the uh, pitch shift channel now, I can even pitch shift that, which could be quite fun to do. Dance. Dance party. Actually, that's making it sound worse, so let's switch that off. Dance party. Turn this volume down a bit. See how that's going. Dance party. Dance party. Dance party. Still too loud and awfully overpowering. Dance pop. That's better. Let's listen to the full thing. Master mix. Dance party. Dance. Okay, uh, so let's count in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, perfect. Always end on one. Always end on one. If you do anything when you're producing and music is involved, always end on beat number one. Okay? Let me just show you what I was doing there. Counting the beats, obviously. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. That's where we're going to do the big impact end. I see some questions popping in, so let's get to them on youtube.com slash music radio creative. Um... How did I realize the effect on the voices? Uh, Matteo, I'm, I'm doing all of that over in the, uh, the effects rack. I'm adding in all my effects, and I'm doing that as I go along. So this is a live stream. If you didn't catch it from the start, if you uh, rewind when it's back available to play, you can see how I was doing that. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm doing that, uh, and essentially piling one on top of the other to make it sound good. And uh, I, I can see there uh, Deval uh, is asking about audio recording. Uh, yes, you can record into Audition. I'll show you actually just quickly how easy that is to do. Let's take that off solo. Um, so if I pick uh, a track, um, actually, let's save this now. Yeah, good idea to save your sessions, especially when you're this far in. I'm like nearly an hour into audio producing. Uh, I mean, I know the latest version of Creative Cloud does back up your sessions every so often, so technically you won't lose them, uh, but it does scare me after doing an hour of work, you know, just the computer crashing or a power cut, and you lose everything. Um, Rex, Mike, can you make a toot on how to make your voice sound like a retro 80s vocal? Rex, I, I love to do stuff like that, but maybe what you could do is uh, kind of send me a link or send me a place where I can, I can hear the effect you're going for, because that's the hardest thing I find when I get questions people will often ask me how do I make my voice sound like this like a, like a tannoy or how do I make my voice sound like a, a robot and you know there are a lot of robots out there a lot of different sounding tannoys and with the 80s I, I just love to know exactly what you're going for so if you can send me an example that would be really good now I'll just quickly start a new session let's just call it untitled session one and overwrite and I'll just so, show you Davil how you can uh, you can record an audition this easily like this hello <laughs> Okay, uh, just arm for record a track, hit the record button. Hello, how are you? Stop that, switch off the recording. Hello, how are you? So it's easy for recording um, and a bit of processing added to my voice there as well because that's my, my template that I usually work with. So back to where we were on this order this morning for Music Radio Creative and I was on this line. Master Mix, dance party. Okay, so we did discover that beat one was here, which is going to be the perfect place to end. Okay, that's kind of cool intro. Let's try that. Need to make the beats louder. Okay, 
you can hear how I'm placing the effects to sound like they're they're on the beat. We need an ender, don't we? We need an ender. That's what we need. An ender. Maybe that might work. Let's try that. Where was beat one? Let's count. One, two, three, four, one. One. Okay, I'm going to be OCD. I like to be OCD. Uh, there. Okay. And there. Right, let's have a listen to that. Ah, too late. You need to end on beat one. You need to end on beat one. Let's do that. Come on, Kay. Going to do a cheeky little shuffle here. That's beat one. Right. How are we sounding now? Yeah, that works. I want some echo on party. Bye. So let's do that. I want echo, so I'm going to have echo. Dance party. Oh, now it sounds like one of those big city radio sweepers, doesn't it? Dance party. And that was all done using some of the radio imaging sound effects that we sell at musicradiocreative.com, uh, using vocal effects on the a cappella, and generating a drum loop in Logic Pro. Yeah, it's simple as that, really. Uh, obviously, it takes a bit of messing about. And um, as always, I feel as audio producers, we're constantly learning. One thing I should learn is that I didn't copy that, so I'm going to need to do that. So let's let's bring in another version of that and I'm going to copy it five times because I'm doing five versions of these uh, with different sounds. Rex, thanks for the uh, the thumbs up like this. Uh, we've got Gizmo Goose just got up to make a, a head call and decided to check my email on the way back to bed, then clicked here. So this is what you do when we're in bed over here. Exactly. Gizmo, where are you watching from, by the way? Let me know uh, in, in the comments. Uh, yeah, exactly. I thought I'd just start uh, um, live streaming what I do. Um, essentially, to, to help you uh, and so that we can all learn because I'm sure there are some other real audio pros watching who can give me some feedback on how it sounds and said, that sounds good, that doesn't sound good. Um, I mean, just as a, a show of hands right now, if I play this sweeper, um, could you let me know? Oh, Arizona, awesome. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're watching now on uh, Facebook, Periscope, Twitch or YouTube, uh, what is your opinion on this jingle that I just created? Any thoughts? What do you um, what do you think of of that one? We've got Kaylee uh, watching in Canada right now. So yeah, I, I figured. Well, you know, I do get stuck into audio production uh, for Music Radio Creative. Why, you know, I, I sit here for hours producing audio on a daily basis. Why don't I just stream it? You know, why don't I just do that? I've got the the ability to do that, so I may as well stream it out to you guys, and uh, and hopefully you can enjoy it. And uh, as a couple, of, at least a couple of you have pointed out, I have been rather quiet the last few months, so I, I figure it's time to to get back on on the channels, on the interwebs, on the social medias, and uh, and sharing some of what I do. Uh, hello to Richard Daly. Thanks for the hearts on Periscope. I really appreciate that. Uh, so thanks, Kaylee, for sound, saying it sounds good. Let's uh, let's create a, another version of that. Master mix. And we can do something really cool with this. Uh, we can actually do what I call a confused stutter. So let's do a confused stutter. It's where you drag random bits and kind of piece them together before the actual main jingle starts and hope it sounds good. Master. You hear it's clipping just a little bit. Oh, D trains bunks listening, uh, watching right now in uh, NC or N Y N C. Is that North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. Uh, D trains bunk confirms. So North Carolina. Wow, that's a place I've always wanted to visit. Actually, been to uh, been to many places in America, but mainly the uh, the big cities. So you know, New York, Washington D C, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Las Vegas. It's an awesome place. I love 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 the U S A. So uh, looking forward to going back when I get the opportunity. Master Mix! 
Adam's watching from Worcester in the UK. Awesome. Now I'm hungry. I'm thinking of Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to see. Do keep the comments going. I see, I see you're having a lovely uh, community chat right now in the uh, in the live chat on, on YouTube Live. So, so keep that going, guys. Really appreciate that. I'm going to try and uh, live stream a bit more. Uh, I don't know if you guys find this handy just to watch me working away. Is it is it of interest? Let me know in the comments whether it's, it's something you want to see more of uh, or if I should just keep these kind of production sessions to myself. <laughs> If it, if it helps, I'll, I'll do it more often and maybe even work out a regular schedule so, um, you know, I can be consistent and you can know uh, every day at this time or every week at this time, uh, Mike will be live streaming. So, uh, yeah, let me know uh, if you think it's a good idea to see more of this kind of stuff. Master Mix. That's cool. So we're going to go over here. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate that. And Devil and Kaylee. Uh, right, I'm going to grab some more bits and bobs. So just so I can get an idea, for those who are watching now uh, and saying it is interesting and yes, we'd like to see more, I'm just I'm just curious where where are you where are you at in your audio production life? I mean, what is it that you're you're using yourself? What is it you'd like to know more of? So then maybe I can tailor my live sessions because really it's you guys watching right now. I mean, you're like the core of, of this community, aren't you? Because you're, you're here, you're watching life, you're interested in, uh, in creating right now in, in a cool way. So uh, yeah, do absolutely um, let me know what it is you would like to see more of and where you are right now, whether you're like a pro, you're learning. Uh, Duke uh, says, uh, learning a lot watching this right now uh, from South Africa. Awesome. So yeah, do let me know what it is you'd like to know more of so I can I can tailor it specifically for you. One idea I, I did have, um, and I wonder whether you think this would be a good idea, I thought about setting up uh, some kind of uh, online forum where we could all chat and share ideas and tips and sound effects and production styles, because I don't think there's anything like that out there. Uh, and I'd really like to do something like that. So if you think uh, a forum uh, is something, obviously a forum with a purpose, not just another forum to join, is a good idea. Let me know about that as well, please. Wow, great to see some, uh, some of your feedback on what you'd like to see. Liam does things as using Audacity. HTST 9X, please keep this up, Mike. Trying to produce a podcast series, awesome. Eve, just finished a media production degree at Bournemouth. Hey, just over the water from me, I'm on the Isle of Wight uh, with sound specialism. So any insights into how you use Audition is awesome. Uh, starting first year of school in September, says Kaylee. Tough, a few simple tricks for voiceovers in Audition. Uh, how to make vocals sound like aha, take on me. Okay, I get the idea. Hubert, uh, beginning video and green screen. Uh, oh, wow, cool, so you're learning video from me. Wow, because I'm kind of an audio guy, but I do dabble and make videos occasionally about producing video, uh, but that's cool to know, thank you. Uh, and um, yeah, Liam likes the idea of a forum, so that's cool, okay. Wow, 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 keep those comments coming. YouTube is is going nuts, YouTube Live, youtube.com slash music radio creative. Hey, Pete Bristow's watching on Facebook Live. Awesome. Hello to you, Pete. Hey, long time. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Nice to see you, Pete, there. And uh, and the, the, the Periscope is uh, uh, hanging in. Uh, Twitch, um, I'm still learning how to use the comments there, but if you are watching on twitch.tv slash music radio creative, honoured to have you there. <laughs> that cut through like a knife, didn't it? Right. <laughs> Let's drop this one in somewhere. <laughs> No, that doesn't work at all. You see, sometimes you try to do something you think is going to sound good and it sounds awful, absolutely awful. And Kaylee does confirm by school, I mean broadcast technology. She's 22, not four. <laughs> awesome. Nice one, Kaylee. That sounds excellent. Also, how to get better quality on YouTube. Just switch from Periscope and can finally see the screen, says Eve. All oh, right. OK, so, yeah, that's funny because um, one thing I, I don't know whether it's worth streaming this on Periscope because uh, you generally watch on your mobile device, don't you? And I, I've only got a few viewers over on Periscope. So I think maybe, yeah, YouTube where you can go full screen is a, is a better platform. Um, but, yeah. Periscope used to bring hundreds of viewers at one time when you went live, and, and now it brings about two viewers. <laughs> don't know what's going on with Periscope recently, but uh, clearly they, they have a plan. Um, right, let's have a look at this. FX. FX. Oh, that could work. 
That could work. Let's try that. I'm going to use the um, beats I created earlier as a guide because I still don't think that sounds right. It's probably because it's not on beat, so it just sounds a bit confusing and horrible at the moment. Awesome, Gizmo. Always sponge up all your clips during my daytime. Wow. Hope I'm not wasting too much of your day. Or well, you say it's, it's a learning thing, isn't it? It's a learning thing. I watch YouTube videos when I'm on the treadmill in the morning. That's how I, I that's how I encourage myself to get on the treadmill because I just go on YouTube and I, I watch other really cool creators who are showing me how to do things. Sometimes I just geek out with the latest tech news, you know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, YouTube's a great place to to learn. Now we're better. Much better than before, and if I just isolate, let's get rid of the sound effects. We want to get the master mix on beat, don't we? Now we're sounding better, aren't we? So you can see, uh, I spent about an hour on this order now, and... Um, Still got a fair amount more to do. You can see how much time uh, at Music Radio Creative we put into making your audio sound as good as we possibly can. Uh, that's the whole idea of it. So, um, yeah, it, but it's fun. At the end of the day, it's fun. And sung jingles do generally take longer to produce than uh, jingles with vocal effects or, you know, dry files. You know, with a, if, it's a, if it's a dry file, uh, it doesn't come... When, when you order from musicradiocreative.com, it doesn't come straight from the voice artist to you. Um, we always filter through things. So we're very, very particular about making sure the audio you get at the end of the day is the, the best quality you can possibly achieve. So if we get a recording from a voice artist, and uh, usually it'll sound great because we only take on voice artists that have great equipment, but for whatever reason, if it's an error, mispronunciation, we try and catch those before they get to you. And always um, a voiceover will go through an audio producer. I know you could say that's a bit OCD, but it will go through an audio producer before it hits the, the final client. And the reason for that is um, voiceover artists are not audio producers nor should they be. They are great at um, expressing their talent into a microphone. So I do believe that an audio producer needs to take that cut uh, and then edit it further and, and just make it sound absolutely amazing before going to the, the end client. But, you know, sometimes if it's just a dry liner of like 10 or 15 words, uh, it will take maybe, you know, five minutes to do in the multi-track of audition uh, to get it sounding right. But it is about, yeah, tweaking things, cutting out clicks, pops, breaths and hisses and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, very particular about that. Um, uh, what are we talking about here now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted by these comments. Where's the best place to get sound effects for sweepers? Gosh, that's a Duke in Facebook Live. Uh, actually, Matteo asked that earlier on, on YouTube Live, but I, I will show you. Uh, if you go to our, our website, uh, musicradiocreative.com, and then uh, I'm, I'm showing you the website right now. It's, it's just over here on the screen. Uh, I'm browsing in Chrome. Uh, go into Radio, Explore, and then uh, if you click Instant Downloads here on the site, and that will take you to these kind of instant instant download jingles. But if you click here, sound effects and music, you'll see here we've got loads of radio imaging sound effect uh, libraries to download. Uh, those are, you know, work parts one to six, which contain a ton of stuff. I mean, work parts volume six has over 700 audio elements in, including music bed sound effects and, and loops. And all of this is completely, uh, once you bought it, it's yours to use. You don't have to relicense it or pay any more money. They're just yours. So that's the great thing. So when you go to other sites and you download it, it says, oh, yeah, but you can only use it on a podcast for a thousand downloads or whatever. Our stuff is just you buy it, it's yours kind of thing. So um, those are the work parts. But if you want to dive in at the shallow end, no, never do that. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> dive in at the shallow end. If you want to put your toe in the water at the shallow end, I should say, uh, there are some smaller uh, production um, work parts like on-air sweepers uh, and motion graphics effects for those video producers out there. It's all there. Music ready creative.com slash radio so i hope that helps you duke uh gizmo's off see you later and uh and thanks for watching <laughs> don't get the sack <laughs> what are you working in radio <laughs> sorry yes no it was a bad joke but uh yes uh, radio is a uh, generally for radio presenters a very volatile industry um and what we got here um 
Uh, yeah, lot, lots of cool stuff there happening in the chat, so do do keep those comments coming in. Got any questions, do ask me. Right, let's get back to this. Dance party. Oh, that's cool. That sounds right. Sometimes you just, like, drag effects in and it just works, which is what I'm looking for. And other times you can spend ages getting something to sound right and listening back and back and back and back and back and it still doesn't sound right. And, yeah, that can be can be tough when that happens. Okay, that's where I want the bang. There. That's it. So I was copying the beats there so I could make sure that even though I haven't got a beat, it's on beat, if you see what I mean. Dance party. Love it. That'll do. That's nice. Right. Let's drag in the next acapella, and I feel like Echo on this one, so we're going to go here. Mix. Dance party. Pop this in here. Mix. Dance party. This is all at 128 BPM. The client hasn't asked for that, but as they're dealing with house music, I thought 128 BPM would be the kind of tempo to work out for these sung musical sweepers. Dance party. Master mix. Dance party. Cool. That sounds good. That's a, a very simple one. They don't all have to be, you know, super complex. So we've done three of those so far. Let's save that session now. And uh, finally, eventually, I will get into um, mixing these down. Let's listen to the three I've done so far. So we've done. Dance party. And this one. Master mix. Dance party. And this one over here. Master mix. Dance party. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to move on and we're going to do uh, number four in this series. Let's just have a quick listen to this, how this sounds. Master mix. Dance party. Make sure I'm not uh, mashing it up with any echo there. We can probably start our next sweeper from this point. Let's do it there. Oh, hang on, don't want to copy it. Oh, we need to select a different tool. There we go. Okay. Right. Ready ho. That's an effect I like. And we're going to pop this in, I think, here. It's going to be an intro effect. So sometimes it's good just to play an effect before the vocals start. Let's try and move that. Oh, well, there we go. And um, we're going to do something a little bit funky here. I'm going to go for one of these. No. No. Whoa. That stuff is way too dark. Maybe. going to do something nice for this one. Oh, I'm going to need to bring back that funky bed as well. Uh, yeah. Trioptic 3D is loving the house music, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Very good question from D Trains Bunk on YouTube dot uh, com slash music radio creative. I see it looks like it's clipping inside the program. Do you deal with that at the end or is it a non issue? Let's just have a listen. Master, master mix, d -d -d dance party. Master mix, dance party. Master, master mix, dance party. So you're absolutely right on that particular uh, sweeper there. I mean, the other two weren't really clipping, but that one definitely, you can see there, it's spiked. Uh, and the, there was a clear spike there. So very valid and very interesting question to ask, actually, uh, D-Train. So thanks for asking. Um, 
yeah, if you clip in the multi-track, is it a huge issue uh, with Adobe Audition? No, um, especially as I'm working in 32-bit, what I can do when I when I eventually go to mix down this session, I will normalize it to minus uh, 0.1 dB, uh, which will bring everything down and make sure nothing is clipping. And because I'm working in 32-bit, uh, digital audio, 32-bit is not prone to clipping. So that's the funny thing. I've done a video on this, by the way, uh, before on my YouTube channel, at youtube.com slash musicradiocreative. But if you work in 32-bit, even if you clip and save the file and send it to someone else, if they open it in a 32-bit audio editor, uh, they can normalize it and the, and the clipping won't exist. So no problems with digital distortion. If you're working in 16-bit, you don't want to clip. But if you're working in 32-bit, it's okay. Uh, lovely comments going on in there at the moment. Um, Kelly's talking about audacity, not having a fee. It's a good way to start, but audition is definitely the kind of, you know, level you want to be aiming at. Um, nice chat going on in the, uh, the YouTube comments. Over on facebook.com slash music radio creative. Let's get more comments happening there. If, if you're watching right now live, uh, let me know where you are watching from. And also, we're on twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Right. Let's see what we've got here with this one. Master Mix D -d -d Dance Pop. That's cool. Yeah, I was going to bring in my. Uh, my lovely beats that I made earlier, and I will keep them over here because I might use them on the final sweeper here. So let's see that we've got this all good. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, that is pretty much already at 128 BPM, and I didn't even have a guide. <laughs> I love it when that happens. All right, so we'll just um, do a little bit of pitch shifting now over here. Dance party. There we go. That's what we wanted. Master mix. Dance party. And I'm happy to uh, consider answering questions that are not audio related. Rex is asking, how long I, have I not shaved for? Uh, I shave most days to try and tidy up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's probably been two or three weeks now. I think about that much. So. Master mix. Dance party. Cool. I think that stands alone. Sometimes you don't need to go nuts with uh, with sound effects. You know, sometimes the temptation is, hey, I've got all these really cool audio production elements. I'm just going to go and slam them all in and overpower. But with this one, I literally needed two effects. And I think the um, the change in pitch there on the dance party kind of speaks for itself. So I don't need to put any other effects in. Master mix. Dance party. So that works for me, and I'm just going to save, and uh, what I'm going to do, so this is 215363, I'm just going to close and then reopen. Uh, I did save everything there. 215363, I think it was. I like to do that every so often just to make sure that I'm not sort of hogging up my memory. Master Mix! Dance party. Okay, now it's time to do the final one of those master mix acapellas before getting on to the final acapella. Uh, Craig says, loving this on facebook.com slash musicradiocreative. Thanks for sharing. My pleasure. So uh, good to have you watching. Uh, discussion going on on the, uh, the youtube.com slash musicradiocreative channel uh, about uh, all the different kind of doors available like Ableton and FL Studio and making hip hop, R&B, pop, future bass and vaporwave. Wow, cool. Cool, cool stuff. Right, let's um, let's hop into this, and I'm going to find uh, a cool part of this beat. Let's go from there. So this is a beat I generated earlier on in uh, Logic Pro X over here. Generated it with uh, Apple's awesome drummer uh, algorithm and then they just exported it and now it's in here in Adobe Audition. Master me. Okay, gonna need to do a little bit of time stretching to get this on the beat and sounding good. Now, what I really want is to get that lovely sound here. Or maybe here. Yeah, where that little beep is. So let's count the beats. One, two, three, four, one. Okay. That's probably going to work from the start. Let's try it and see how it works. 
So this can go in here. And if I remember correctly, we are time stretching to 95% or thereabouts. That should work. Master Mix Dance Party Master Mix Dance Party Okay, we are getting there, but we can do a little bit of further syncing. Master Mix Master Mix Dance Party Dance Party Party Master Mix Mix Let's try something, an experiment. Let's see how we go with this. Master mix, 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 Too loud at the moment, but that can be remedied. Master mix, 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 Nearly there. Dance party. Love the way that works. Dance party. How's it sounding to you? Leave me a comment right now. Let me know how this is all sounding to you. I'd love to get your, your feedback on this. Uh, right, let's go over and have a look. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I'm going to go for a different uh, effect pack. Let's go in here and let's go for a hit. That could work. Bit more of an intro there. No, we need to go in a bit more. Okay, and we need a, a big ender there, I think. So let's see what we got. What's the best we can do? Hmm. There might be a space for that sound effect. Let's pop it in and see if we can get it. Dance party. Mm -hmm. There is a space for that fact. And then we want, uh, let's go back to my trusty old impact. Cuts like a knife. All right, that could be the place to put it. Always end on beat one. Dance party. Okay, but we need to make sure the bed doesn't keep going. Party. I don't know, I think that's too aggressive. Thanks, Stratos, for your comment on facebook.com slash musicradiocreative. No, 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 no. That's more of an intro kind of sound effect. That could be the one I'm looking for. I think I might have used that earlier, but I'm only going to use the tail end of it on this bit. Party! Party! And again, I want Dance Party to echo if possible, please. So uh, let's lock that in time and move that down here. Dance Party! Thanks, Kaylee. Thanks, uh, Trioptic 3D. Uh, KJ D Train says the reason this helps me is that a lot of times people see the final product without seeing how the sausage was actually made. Uh, and the time it takes, so awesome. Uh, John says, coming up nice. Thanks, John. Really appreciate that, the uh, the kind comments there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ooh, okay. One, two. No, one, two, three, four. 
four, five. Yes, that's what I thought. I thought I created five acapellas there. Otherwise, my mind would be going crazy on me. Uh, so five more to do uh, for DJ Craig Twitty. As, as you can say, see, this is this is shaping up to being maybe a, a two or a two and a half hour job. Um, but it's all fun. And uh, sung jingles are my favorites to work on. Uh, thanks, Craig, for the kind comments. Really appreciate that on facebook.com slash music radio creative. I am going to venture. I'm just going to take a break at this stage uh, and save this session file so I don't lose all that work. Um, and I'm just going to hop over to twitch.tv um, because I know we are streaming on there. It's the second time I've done a stream on Twitch TV. And I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, scared because the last time I went to Twitch it started playing my audio back and then I got a loop repeated <laughs> kind of audio of me speaking and uh, it was really scary and I just closed the window and everything got better. Always end on beat one, yes, try Optic 3D, it's, uh, it's absolutely definitely something you should do. Right, I'm going to go to Twitch and I'm going to try and mute it as soon as I get there because I know it's going to start playing my audio back which I don't want. Uh, right, I'm going to go to Yep, I got a little bit of audio back. Now I'm there. Okay, so I can see there are some people watching. And now I, I think there is a chat room there. Um, anybody who's watching on, on Facebook or YouTube or Periscope right now, um, if you, any, any of you are able to do this right now, don't worry if you're not able to do it, but if you are able to hop over to uh, twitch.tv slash music radio creative, and only do this, you know, if you have an account. Don't bother creating an account for me. Um, but if you've got an account on Twitch and you are able to head over there and chat in the chat room, I just want to see whether I can get the, the chat working and uh, kind of chat to people who are watching now uh, or maybe watching on Twitch so I can kind of find out how to interact there. So I think I'm in the chat room now for my, my broadcast on Twitch. I will, in a, in a couple of minutes, be going back to my audio production, by the way, so don't worry. I'm just doing a little experiment now while I can. Uh, Melvin is asking, by the way, over on Facebook uh, Live, Mike, does Audition work with MIDI plugins? And uh, Not at the moment, nor VSDIs, but uh, hey, you never know. Maybe it will arrive in the future. It'll be really lovely. Uh, but for the moment, if I'm doing anything that's uh, MIDI-based or music-based, it's, it's Logic Pro X for me. I did uh, mess about with Garage Band for a while, but I uh, Garage Band. I know people don't like the way I say that. Gar garage Band is it Garage Band? I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, I'm using Logic Pro X now, and I'm liking it. You know, it's like the Apple Pro version of Garage Band. You know, all the pros use it, so it's cool. Right, uh, Twitch. So let's just say hello there into the Twitch chat post it okay yeah so uh, channel is active and working uh, just need to to figure out more about twitch but I do feel like it's it's a good place to be streaming so uh, yeah we'll keep it there but uh, nice to have you over on Facebook and on YouTube as well let's just play back some of the work I've done before I get into the last five liners that I'm gonna make that's number one. Number two. To mix. Dance party. Number three. To mix. Dance party. To mix. Dance party. To mix. Dance party. I just spotted a couple of changes I can make. This always helps to play back your own work because you do spot things that you can kind of alter. I thought the effect was a bit loud in here, so I'm going to turn it down. Mix. Dance party. That plays better with me now, and I noticed the beats were a little bit quiet on this one, so let's turn them up. Mix. Dance party. Let's try again. Mix. Dance party. Okay, happy with that. Uh, so now we get into the uh, the final a cappella, which is this one. Sounds of the New York. Let's start from the beginning. The sounds of the New York underground. Awesome. So let's have a look here. The sound. Let's go in beat one over here. The sounds. Of no. The sounds of the sounds of the New York underground. Okay, 
okay, that's not quite right. We need to pitch shift a little bit. I've got a feeling uh, that our singer Kim is singing at about 130 BPM. I'm trying to squash that down to 128. The sounds of the New York Underground. Okay, that's good, but we need to do a rendered time stretch, otherwise it's going to sound awful. And um, just make sure I did the same over here. Yeah. Rendered time stretches uh, in the properties section over here. Uh, stretch. Make sure your mode is rendered rather than real time. Real time is, is quicker on your CPU, but rendered is better for audio quality. All right, let's have a listen now. The sounds of the New York Underground. It's not quite right, is it? Let's move this over. The sounds of the New York The sounds of the sounds of the New York underground. The sounds of the New York underground. The sound. Trying to find where to best place this. Sounds of the sounds of the New of the of the New York underground. Of the New York underground. The sounds of the New York underground. The sounds of the New. Let's move these beats out a bit. Start from the beginning, maybe. The sounds of. The sounds of the New York underground. The sound. The sound. Just messing about with this to see if it'll work. The sounds of I don't think so. So what I'm going to do instead is get rid of that and pop the stretch back to 100%. And we'll go another way with these five. Let's uh, drag it out to make it five already. Here we go. Copy, 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 copy. And copy, and one more copy. Oh, I think I can have fun with this. Let's try and uh, underground. underground. Okay, let's copy that over to a new channel here, and I'm going to do this. Take the pitch right down. The New York Underground 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 New York Underground So what I'm doing is I'm pitch shifting actually I've done it kind of a little bit sloppy there uh, because you can hear it's <laughs> pitching up towards the end, which is probably something we don't want. And I'm going to fade that in because we've got the k of New York. We just want underground. Oh, I'm going to switch Twitch off because I'm echoing apparently, says Isabella. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs> Hopefully it's sounding better now. Mike, you have the strange echo again just once, thankfully, so we can hear you. Yeah. Twitch. I, I just don't know how to see comments on Twitch without the audio playing uh, to my feed <laughs> at the moment. I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Lovely to see the, the chat going over on youtube.com slash musicradiocreative. And you can also uh, get in on the action at facebook.com slash musicradiocreative. Or if you prefer, twitch.tv slash musicradiocreative. And our site, our wonderful website is musicradiocreative.com. 
www.ethicsofcreativity.com. It's all here. Uh, you can see a little bit more about us. You can see some of the clients we've worked with. You can even uh, head into uh, you know our SoundCloud to hear our latest audio, read our blog, listen to the podcast, which, by the way, is not up to date but is coming back very soon. And uh, tune into YouTube as well for more tutorial videos. Um, plus, if you're in any of these industries or you're just an audio creative, you need some creative audio, um, then, then hop over and have a look. Um, Isabella is saying Echo is still there. Uh, anyone else watching right now, can you just let me know in the comments if it's echoing for you? Because I'm wondering if it's my feed or if it's Isabella's feed. I'm, I'm not saying, <laughs> Isabella, that you've got too many windows open uh, with, with audio, but I'm just wondering, is anyone else experiencing echo on my voice right now? Or is my voice just coming out one time? If you could let me know right now in the comments, that would be super helpful because I don't want you uh, don't want you tuning out. Albert says no, so that's that's a good sign. We've got, we got one no. Uh, so Isabella is indicating it may well be your computer. Um but I can't confirm that yet. Um, just let me know if uh, no echo on Facebook says Adam. So uh, no echo at all says John. So uh, luckily it wasn't Twitch. It's just you, Isabella. <laughs> Have you got two windows open? <laughs> I don't know. And no echo. The, the YouTube live uh, folks are saying no echo as well. So good news. Okay, well we'll hop back into it. But thank you, Isabella. I appreciate you um, pointing that out because it would have been terrible if I was echoing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you there, by the way. If you've got any questions about Music Radio Creative, Isabella, uh, by the way, we've had a couple of questions this morning about where you can get these imaging effects from. Uh, and I have uh, been demoing the section of the website where they are. But um, maybe if there's any questions in there uh, that I'm not best placed to answer, you could um, you can maybe hop in and, uh, and reply to a few comments uh, yourself. Um, I know you've even been getting into audio production recently. Isabella is actually... Um, so, uh, am I allowed to say this, Isabella? I'm actually um, training you up as an audio producer with with your your consent as well. You're actually enjoying this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Isabella is uh, is on the way to becoming a master audio producer, a master of the trade. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> showing showing an interest. So there we go. So no echo will continue. So um, let's have a listen to this. The sounds of the New York Underground. There we go. Sounds of the New York Underground. That works for me. That actually works for me. I, I could take it up a little bit more and I could create a new track with pitch shifting and I could pitch shift up. In fact, let me let me show you how that works. Um, because I'm thinking about it. I, I like it how it sounds already. I, I need to add in some effects and make it sound cool, but uh um just for fun, I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to put all the fancy effects on that I have, and then I'm going to add a pitch shifter, and we'll see how this works. Or at least I can show you how it works. Okay, save my file again, and I'm just going to pop this down here. And again, I'm going to bring down the envelopes for the pitch shifter, and transpose the ratio up. Of the New York Whoa, that's awful. Sorry, I thought it would sound better. Well, now if you want to make a singer sound like uh, the Chipmunks, you know how to do it. Hang on, that's too high. Let's take it down a bit. It, to be honest with you, this kind of effect works better on uh, vocal uh, imaging. So maybe uh, when I finish this order and we get onto some voiceover production, I'll, I'll show you this effect again with voiceover production. The New York oh, that's awful. Sorry. I'm sorry that didn't work. Uh, so let's just delete that track forever and get back to what I was doing. <laughs> that's a fun thing. You can experiment with audio and it's not always going to work. Um, you know, things can go wrong and you just, you just hit command z or control z on your pc and, and you're back um <laughs> kjd train says it's the chipmunk kanye effect i like it um uh eve is asking do you have any tips on uh getting freelance audio editing work uh audio editing work or audio production work because i'd say they're two different things audio editing uh is more like kind of like chopping audio and cutting out breaths and clicks and pops. Uh, audio editing, if you're talking about audio editing, then uh, I would say one of the biggest places right now to look towards, obviously you can look towards radio stations, that's the background I've come from. 
Um, but podcasting is is huge and only getting bigger. Apple have made numerous announcements in the last couple of weeks that they're upgrading uh, their podcasting app for iOS 11. And in fact, I'm very excited that they're introducing podcast trailers as a kind of thing that you really ought to have for your podcast. Um, so, um, but yeah, lots of podcasters, they don't edit their own audio and they look for audio editors. So what you could do is you could look at somewhere like um, upwork.com and um, post that you're an audio editor there. You could also try and find out, you know, various different communities where podcasters hang out and ask if anyone, in a, obviously in a non-spammy way, needs audio editing services. Those are a few places to look. Um, if it's about audio production, then uh, radio stations. Um, that's that's a good place to, to learn the trade. That's where I learned the trade myself. Uh, obviously, YouTube now is the University of Audio Production as well. And uh, and occasionally at Music Radio Creative, we look for audio producers. You don't have to be like, like you know, top of your game. Uh, sometimes, you know, we do take on and, uh, and train up audio producers. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, reach out to either myself or Isabella here at Music Radio Creative. Uh, Matt is asking if I'm still using the DBX 286S. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely I am. Hang on, I can I can show you. I think I can show you my DBX 286S. Let's try and do this without um, destroying anything. Hopefully it'll work. Um, yes. There you go. It's a rather dusty DBX 286S. But yes, that's uh, that is what I am using at the moment. So <laughs> there you go. That's the DBX two eight six S in action right now. Uh, I'm using it on my voice right now. So great, great. Glad you glad you enjoyed that, Eve. And uh, yeah, lo loads of comments over on YouTube uh, live. So thanks, guys, for keeping the chat going there. Uh, sorry if I'm missing comments because I'm only looking up a. Uh, every so often and then getting back into the audio work uh, and over on Facebook as well if you want to interact there facebook.com slash music radio creative if you're on youtube.com slash music radio creative and you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel please hit the subscribe button uh, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber because I'm, I'm putting out regular videos um, and I certainly intend to in this half of the year John's asking if I offer any voiceover training I haven't done that. Um, I considered offering some kind of training, not necessarily in voiceover, um, although that is something I do, um, but more in audio production. I don't know um, if uh, if anybody is interested in uh, in uh, learning audio production with me. If that's something you'd be interested in, just let me know in the comments, either on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, if you think an audio production course would be of value, something you'd be interested in in joining up to. Uh, let me know, and I might consider doing that in the future. Right. The sounds of the New York Underground. Let's just turn you down a bit, you Darth Vader style singer. New York Underground. And you're not quite synced up, are you? New York Underground. Turn you down a little bit more. New York Underground. Okay, that sounds good to me. So now we go in and we uh, we choose a few sound effects to go in with this. Let's go over here. Let's go for a start. Perfect. Just what I was thinking. Just what I was thinking. The sounds of the new Turn it down a bit. The sounds of the New York Underground. We need another effect when it gets to underground, maybe a nano effect. Let's see how that sounds. And we need a kind of bang at the end. Yep, the last part of that sound effect will work perfectly. So let's get that on here and see how that's going to sound. Okay, cool. So, um, 
Max Headroom. Uh, Kelly is asking, what is, what is Max Headroom? Who is Max Headroom? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awful. Uh, what is Max Headroom? Max Headroom is the, the, the kind of headroom you should leave at the top of your waveform uh, to prevent any clipping. Uh, I can show you quickly. Uh, in the waveform view, if I was to record a new audio file like this. Hello. You see there, I've got a headroom now of uh, 4 dB. It's at minus 4 dB. But I could uh, easily go into favorites and normalize that to minus 3 dB. So my max headroom is now uh, 3 dB. Hello to Pavel, who's uh, watching over on uh, facebook.com slash music radio creative. Good to have you there. Uh, so yeah, leaving headroom is a good idea, especially if you're recording voiceovers. Uh, normalizing to minus 3 dB is usually what I'd advise for a voiceover. And don't add too much compression of your voiceover as well. Headroom is a good thing. Although I did say earlier, working in 32-bit doesn't matter so much because uh, clipping is a thing of the past. The sounds of the New York Underground. Okie dokie. That's weird. That's so weird. Hang on. That's such a weird sound effect. I might do something really fun with this one. Let's pull that out there. The sounds of the New York Underground. Right, I'm going to do something weird. So I don't know if it's going to work yet, but we'll try. New audio file, uh, sing FX, and then we need to grab this bit here. That's the bit I'm looking for, I think. Yep, maybe around there. And we're going to create a new audio file, and we're going to call this. Going to call this uh, sing VFX. Okay. Right. So let's go into edit and we're doing a yeah, mix paste, aren't we? So, okay, cool. Gonna try it two ways around to see how it works. So where's my sing effects? Here we go. Um, mix paste, modulate, okay. No, that doesn't work. Okay, no worries. Let's try it the other way around. Sing VFX. Right, uh, let's again, mix paste, modulate. Okay, that's not working, but not to fear, because I've got one last trick up my sleeve, and that is to go into effects, generate tones. And... Let's get a mix paste, modulate. No, it needs to be the other way around. Okay, no worries. Let's make that louder. It might sound awful, but we can at least give it a go. And let's find where that went, sing effects. If you don't try, you won't know. So let's go in, pop this in here. I'm going to pop you on this channel here. Okay, it's too loud. That's for starters. It's not awful, though. Too much audio competing for space there. Let's turn this down. Take you and pop you here. Uh, let's listen to that again. The sounds of the new York underground. I can't figure out if that sounds good or bad. Um, so let me know in the comments. Uh, does that sound good 
or bad? Just post good or bad in the comments now, please, on facebook.com slash music radio creative or youtube.com slash music radio creative or even twitch.tv slash music radio creative. Comment now. Does that sound good or bad to you? The sounds of the New York Underground. I'm not happy with the way it skips from the kind of electronic voice to the plain voice. I think that could be a better transition. Let's see whether we can uh, we can work that out with a wub. No. Ah, aha, maybe that'll work. What we got? Kaylee's saying good. Thank you, Kaylee. Let's try this. No. No, that's because the K from New York is in that bit there. Thank you, Lion Lamb Meat, for saying good. Really appreciate that. No, I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just don't touch it. Don't do any more. Just leave it. Right. But that helps the transition. The sounds of the New York Underground. Hey, Matt Archives, you read my mind. What about making the second part flanged? Uh, notice the name of the track I'm on there is flanger. Maybe it's not a, a sort of um, prominent enough flange effect. Hey, Robin Banks is there. Nice to see you. I can't make out what they are singing. The sound of the what underground? Ah, oh, maybe I should take out. Let's try and take this out and see if it sounds better. So if I mute that, see how we sound. And also, F Rain is saying it doesn't really add anything to the mix. The sounds of the New York Underground. The sounds of the New York Underground. Um, so let's move that in and flange that, but go without that kind of robotic uh, double track there. The sounds of the New York Underground. So we'll leave it like that then and go without the, the robotic effect. That was just, uh, yes, a little little play. Uh, so actually we can completely delete that file and listen back. The sounds of the New York Underground. Yeah, that's sounding good to me now. Right, okay, so let's get on to the next. We've got three more of these to do. A uh, total of 15 uh, produced a cappellas. Uh, that I've been working on this morning, uh, and then uh, there's, there's more more orders to to get to. Uh, perhaps I might give it a break after I finish this order, and then come back and uh, maybe maybe even uh, another day I'll do some some vocal orders because I know obviously producing sung vocals as opposed to uh, voiceovers is is a totally different kettle of fish. So that's something I will uh, I will look to do in the future if. Uh, if you like these uh, live streams and you want to see more of this. Right, let's get on to some more stuff. Uh, see you later, Robin, and thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Lots of love. <laughs> so let's get into uh, the next one. Oh, that's good. Uh, I like the kind of robotic effects that are happening here. I'm just thinking about how best to work with them at the moment. Uh, ref <laughs> Rafko Nater is asking me, can I sing you uh, a C note right now? No, I'm an awful singer. You definitely don't want to hear me attempting that. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Right. Let's get into some uh, starters here. Oh, that could work nicely. Let's try that. And we need the beat to come in there. New York Underground. The sound. Let's get this one nice and dry. The sounds of the New York. The sound. Move this one down here. The sounds of the New York. Move that down there. I like that. The sounds of the New York Underground. The sounds of the New York Underground. 
two more to do and then I'm going to mix and master and uh, essentially get this order ready to send out. The sounds of the New York Underground. That could be very interesting, that effect. Let's see what we can do with that. The, so the sounds of the New York. Okay, that could be interesting because we could do something like this. Let's keep that. Just going to take the audio down on that a bit and do some panning as well if I can. Pan you over hard left, pan you over hard right. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. If you're watching, by the way, on youtube.com slash music radio creative, appreciate you there in the chat. And if you do me a favor of subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that very much indeed. The sounds of the New York Underground. That's sounding good. Let me just take that down in the mix a little bit. New York Underground. The sounds of the New York Underground. Okay, that's starting to sound good, but I want to do something with underground here. So I am going to cut this here and take this down to here and let's see if we can pop this in, make it sound good. No, we're not going to do that. Maybe like this, uh, have it like a record running out of power. Underground. Not quite. Underground. Underground. No, don't like that. Sorry. Can do better than that. I'm just command zing at the moment. There we go. Underground. Hey, Dylan. Nice to have you there. Thanks for uh, tuning in on Facebook.com/slash/MusicRadioCreative. Very, very good to have you there. Uh, <laughs> Kaylee says, I'm tough to impress. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. If I think something sounds crap, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll redo it. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to give, you know, rubbish audio. Um, we got um, Lion Lamb Meat uh, B asking, where do you get your audio effects from? Uh, MusicRadioCreative.com is the place to go uh, explore on the radio page. Instant downloads, uh, SFX and music. And um, if I show you more, look, there they all are, the work parts. You can buy the full volumes. Or if you're dipping your toe in the water, we've got some smaller packs here as well. Uh, you can order them just uh, like on Air Sweepers, for instance. You can play the demo here. Get your package of on Air Sweepers now. 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 The new music. 42 creative ways to spice up your radio show. Order online now. now. Exclusively at musicradiocreative.com. And you just add to cart, and uh, oh, you can see I've got a load of stuff. <laughs> Clearly, been testing the cart recently. Um, but if I get rid of everything else, you'll see that uh, uh, there it is in, in your cart. And you just uh, make sure that's the only thing that's in your cart, unless you're ordering something else. And then you. Um, you basically get them as a, a, an instant download, so you just go to complete purchase and uh, you know enter in all your details. And uh, as soon as you place the order, uh, they'll be in your inbox or in your account, I should say, ready to download uh, and start playing with yourself. So hope that answers your question for you there, Lion Lamb Meet B. Uh, hi to David, uh, who's uh, watching in uh, the great Brazil. Awesome to have you there. Thank you uh, very much for tuning in. <laughs> Kaylee, thank you for the compliment. Feels like listening to Radio One. Wow. Uh, so yeah, musicradiocreative.com. The sounds of the New York Underground. 
Yeah, so I wasn't impressed with that uh, little thing I did earlier, so I'm going to instead try something else, but it needs to happen in the waveform view because it's called a pitch burned. Pitch burned, like this. Under... Ground! Ground? No, it's going to be ground, like that. It's like a, a record losing power, something I like to do from time to time, and it's the pitch bender in effects, time and pitch. And you can see here, this is my preview window. At the moment, I'm going up. There is actually a preset thing, turntable losing power. Let's see how that sounds. Ground! That's what I'm going for. You sometimes hear that in music records. You hear... So that's the effect I'm going for. And we'll take Untitled 5 and pop it into the multi-track. I'm losing my voice now. <clears throat> that's what talking for... Uh, Nearly two hours does to you, I guess. Right, here we go. Let's see how this sounds. The New York Underground! No. Don't want it like that. The New York Underground! Oh, maybe. The New York Underground! Yeah, that works. What do you think? Post in the comments now. Good, bad, good, bad. What do we think? Or uh, any advice on how you'd change this? The sounds of the New York Underground! One thing I've noticed is the underground bit is not quite in the right place and it's a bit too loud. No. Hang on. Let's turn snapping on. Snap. Snap, snap, snap. 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 There we go. Still not quite right. Thank you, Pradesh, for sharing the video. Appreciate that. Underground. Oh, I know what the problem is. Let's move this up here. F Rain says, uh, add pitch shift to the effect. I, I'm not sure that might be overkill in this instance. I don't know. The sounds of the New York Underground. A little bit quieter. Rafko Nater, can you speak German? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? A uh, little bit. No, not really. Sorry. <laughs> no enough to get by. But that's about it. New York Underground. KJ D Train, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that. The New York Turn you down a bit more, I think. And we'll call it a rap. There. The sound of the New York No, it's still not right. Hang on. No. No. Let's try again. The sounds of the New York Underground! Take the fade off, the start of that. Bring that back, bring that in. New York Underground! The sounds of the New York Underground! Still a bit loud, very loud. Of the New York Underground! Better. The sounds of the New... Right, I'm, I'm just going to go nuts on this last sweeper now. So let's just do really silly things and see how it comes out. Sounds of the the sounds of the sounds of. I'm going to do really stupid stuff and just see whether it works out or not. We'll see. Stop the on the of the New York Underground The sound of the New The sound of the New York Right, this is gonna be something I'm gonna play with here. I need to isolate where she says the K of New York before she says the un uh of underground. New York. New York. New York. New York. New York. There. 
exactly there. Pretty much exactly there. And then we're going to have fun with this because we're going to go boom, 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 and boom. Okay, uh, now we're just going to be really stupid. No, that doesn't work. And now some effects. Two octave higher, two octaves higher, says Efren. That's a good idea. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Let's see. No, let's not do it there. Do this and this. Let's take that and pop that in. Oh, no, not a new session. A new audio file. Just have a quick play here. Um, let's see what we've got here. Take that idea much further for the moment. The sounds of the, the sounds of the, the sounds of the, the sounds of the new, the sounds of the, the sounds of the new York. What we got here? Maybe that could work. Let's try it. Pop this in over here. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Could work. The sounds of the New York Bond. Not like that. The sounds of the New York Underground. The sounds of the New York Underground. Ground. Let's take ground. Pop it over here. New York Underground. And that is a wrap. So let's save that session. And we're going to save that in there. Okay. There it is. Uh, we have got uh, 15 produced acapellas. Took me about two hours to make them sound 
good and uh, worthy for mix down. So now we can do the grand thing that every audio producer loves to do at the end of their production session. It's mixing down. Uh, so let's go into the multi track. That's going to mix down entire session, and that's all going to come into a nice little waveform for me uh, in about uh, two or three minutes, I think. So, um, yeah, this has been fun. How have you enjoyed this? Has it been good for you? Let me know in the comments right now. YouTube.com slash Music Radio Creative, Facebook.com slash Music Radio Creative, or Twitch.tv slash Music Radio Creative. I'm going to hop over to Twitch.tv because um, relatively new on that platform. In fact, it's only my second time streaming. Might just get a bit of feedback uh, when the video loads. So beware if you hear a second Mike Russell talking. Oh, no, it's on mute already. That's a good sign. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Mr. Weed is asking, what's your microphone? It is an Audio Technica uh, AT4033. 4033 That's my microphone. Audio Technica AT4033. Thank you for the nice emojis, Gary and Efrain. Uh, actually, uh, as I'm in the mixing down mood at the moment, um, there's not much for you to see. I can show you my microphone if you would like to see it. Would you like to see my microphone? Thank you, Kaylee. Thank you, Eve, as well, for the nice comments. Please make a jingle, says DJ Ken. DJ Ken. There you go. You you have the right to clip that and uh, and use that if you'd like. Oh, there's my microphone right, right there. That's uh, well. All you can see is a pop shield actually. So I'll look underneath. That's the Audio Technica AT4033 uh, SM. Actually, my mic, my my kind of video is blown out on this camera at the moment because I haven't got the the webcam settings set very well. Let's see if I can um, change that for you, so we can get it looking a little bit. A little bit nicer. Aha, there you go. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, so that is my, my lovely microphone. Take a look there. I've always been really happy with it. Um, Nicola would like DJ Nick. There you go. Thanks, John, for the kind comments. I've also got uh, over here, I've got a couple of Heil mics, Heil PR40s on stands and they do very well for podcasting. So I do enjoy uh, using those. Now in a moment, we're gonna have a mixed down session, but it's it's still going there. So uh, really, really pleased, really pleased that uh, you enjoyed this live session. That, um, that makes me very happy and uh, I'm very excited to come back and and do more stuff in the live stream. If it's of, of use to you, uh, then I'll definitely uh, be up for doing more. Eve's asking, do I do any drama? Not really. Uh, thank you, Nicola. Really appreciate the uh, the kind comments. Uh, it is a very good microphone. You're right, Mr. Weed. And oh, look at that. Look, can you see behind me? I've got uh, a mixed down waveform. So uh, let's uh, let's shrink myself back down to a, a mini mic and put myself in, in the corner of the, the screen so you can see the action right now uh, on my screen, which is uh, all around up here. These are all of the acapellas. Let's have a listen to them again, uh, particularly if you have just tuned in or you tuned in late and you haven't heard everything. Um, actually, no, before that, I'm, I'm gonna actually master them a little bit by using my effects. Um, and it's in special mastering and uh, it's just a bit of subtle clarity that I add that uh, adds a nice little bit to the the treble and the mids and it adds a bit of reverb as well it doesn't take long to do it'll level those jingles out nicely as you can see a bit of hard limiting going on too which is always nice let's have a listen to them all and uh, while I play them back just let me know in the comments what you think whether you like them and what which one is your favorite what number one to number 15 uh, let me know which one is your favorite out of them all? DJ Craig Twitter. That's number one. DJ Craig Twitter. That's number two. DJ Craig Twitter. Number three. Here comes number four. DJ Craig Twitter. Here comes number five. DJ Craig Twitter. Number six. Master Mix. Dance party. Number seven. Master mix. Dance party. Number eight. Master 
Master Mix Dance Party Number 9 Master Mix Dance Party Number 10 Master Mix Dance Party Number 11 The sounds of the New York Underground Number 12 The sounds of the New York Underground Number 13 The sounds of the New York Underground Number 14 The sounds of the New York Underground And number 15 The sounds of the New York Underground So there you go, getting asked how much I use Adobe Audition uh, Lots, it's my life (laughs) It's all I use really to produce audio I did uh, during the session uh, today I have used a little bit of Logic Pro X as well uh, just to create uh, drum loops and, and the like to uh, to work with those acapellas. Um, but yeah, generally Adobe Audition it is all day and uh, and I'm on Slack as well all the time. That's uh, how we, uh, we communicate what we need to do in, in the business. Uh, so there you go, 15 acapellas, about uh, two hours I think this video was. Uh, but I hope you have found it uh, exciting. Thank you for commenting with your favourites uh, in the comments as well. Really appreciate that. Uh, oh, hi to Will Hughes on Twitch. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. I've got a Twitch viewer. Um, it's the second time streaming on Twitch. I set up the account yesterday, so it's brand new at twitch.com slash music radio creator. Uh, but I can see that uh, Will Hughes is there in the comments and uh, his favourite was number seven. Just for you, Will, special attention as you're my, my Twitch viewer right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll play your favourite again. Master Mix Dance Party Yeah, do you know what, Will? That was actually, that was my favourite as well. As I was listening back to them, I was thinking, yeah, I like, I like the kind of in the middle. It's really kind of powerful and nice. Right, okay, Uh, I am going to uh, go now. I'm going to disappear. I've still got more production to do. Um, But actually, I I think it it requires quite a a little bit more effort to produce and talk about what you're doing at the same time. So, uh, yeah, for for that reason, I'm going to... uh, stop the stream right now and say goodbye but I would love it if you subscribe to youtube.com slash music radio creative I would be over the moon if you'd give us a like and write a review at facebook.com slash music radio creative and uh, well you know where to find us but um, yeah YouTube and Facebook are the the main places to go and if you do enjoy this then uh, leave some comments let me know about it let me know that uh, you're enjoying it let me know what you'd like to see next so I can tailor these live streams and and future videos uh, to you but for now i will sign out i will love you and leave you and i will say have a great rest of the day rest of the evening and i'll speak to you next time